a high frequency channel where source and spirit meet. Where forces between the mind, body, and spirit meet in friendship while building a unity of energy and creation, fluidity in consciousness, where we let our spirits speak. Welcome to another episode of The Raven's Den. I am your host, Reverend Raven Nightclaw HP. You know, a lot of things have been weighing heavy on my mind. But even more so, Been noticing a few things about people within this third density. I've noticed a large amount of fear. Fear to do things. Fear to make choices. Fearing the unknown. See, the truth. So what is the truth? Well, my truth is that fear comes into life in many levels. You're afraid of going out there into the world and doing something new. Well, I would just say this, that it's better to try something new than to never try and not su succeeding at doing what you're passionate about. See, the time has come, folks. The time has come for us to release ourselves from the hold that we put on ourselves that limits us to doing only the things that are part of the collective happenings and goings on. The time has come to make the choice. Time to make a choice of whether or not life can be different. You know, sometimes the passions or whatever the life's purpose is or soul mission it could be as simple as, or as close to you as the nose on your face. Sometimes it could be so close that you can't even smell it, or you can't even see it. My truth is that no one is alone. We have to stay in a high vibration to begin to evolve. I'm very, very serious about this. I've had conversations with people as simple as, you know, about something as simple as going on to, you know, using your phone or 
using a webcam or you know even a regular camera and being in front of it and some individuals say that they're you know that they're in fear that they they'll be laughed at or they'll be judged for them doing this or doing that You know, I have to be real with you in saying this, that it doesn't matter what people think, it doesn't matter what people feel, it doesn't even matter the opinions of other people that they may have for you. But what matters is how you feel about yourself. How you feel, how you take yourself, how you present yourself, and how you are to other people. The time has come. For that toxicity to be removed, we call it purging. Sometimes you're resisting your own self. Sometimes you feel like you were dealt a bad hand. Or that the cards are stacking up against you. The truth is, it might actually be you all along. What is it going to take for you to find your purpose? What is it going to take? for you to make the choice to make life better for you. Now you may have kids, and then you also have to look at them as well. And say to yourself, Am I doing right by them? Doing right by you also does right by others. I remember a saying, I believe it was in the movie Coach Carter. And he said, it goes to some extent that it is not our darkness, but our light that frightens us. Playing small because you want others to feel significant. is just self-sabotage. Gratitude and the attitude of appreciation is something that we should all strive for. I'm grateful and honored just to be here with you, talking with you holding a dialogue in some way, shape, or form, whether you're just listening or watching. The truth is communication comes in many, many levels, in many, many types. But the truth is, what are you willing to do in order to find, to, to find and reach 
uh, and grab a hold of the freedom that you've always deserved. And the truth is, what are you going to do with that freedom once you have it? You know, programs, and I mean mental programs, are created by a history, a repetition of hearing or seeing the same thing over and over again until it becomes real, until it becomes your, your law. It is said that it takes 14 to 22 days to build or change a habit or to build a routine, a new routine. Do you need to change your routine? Do you need anything? Maybe you need love. Maybe you need validation and acknowledgement. Maybe you are one that likes your ego stroked. Or maybe you just want to find an individual that can be that lending ear or that shoulder to cry on. Our time is limited on this place, on this plane of existence. Our lives are only temporary. Sometimes people die too early because of ignorance, anger, rage, even not paying attention. It's sad, really. You know, sometimes I wonder, maybe something that a lot of you wonder, you know, I wondered what would happen to life, my life, if I decided certain things differently, not necessarily holding on to the past, just reflecting upon it and seeing certain choices that could have been made that could have very well shifted the reality of my existence. Now, being an empath and being gifted isn't easy. Sometimes I feel, sometimes I see, sometimes I hear. Sometimes what I feel shifts my own consciousness and makes me react in the same way that somebody else would. I would like to tell you that life is easy. But the truth is, it can be if you so choose it to be and you wish it. But to be honest, challenge, lessons, failures 
are a natural part of the human existence. It is there to push you. It's there to show you what kind of life you could have. What do you really want? If you are the one that does not have what you want right now, then it is your responsibility. You have an obligation to yourself to change that reality, to change that environment, to change your own thoughts and actions. To give yourself permission to have a life free of doubts, worries, and fear. I challenge you to dream and allow for those dreams to come into fruition. So I want you to know that you are not the only one in this world. You will never be alone. Even if it seems like you are, you will never be alone. You must begin now to harness the very power that you have inside of you. That fire is what keeps you going. That fire inside of you, if not utilized, can burn out. You have to find the motivation. You gotta find out what your musts are. Maybe you even have to learn what your archetypes are in order for you to understand what is your priority, what is your mission, and what makes you feel the very best that you can feel? Truth is, only you can decide what your reality is. Only you can decide what's important to you. The truth is, is that I believe that if you continually tell yourself that you don't care about certain things, that compassion and empathy ends up leaving with it. And you truly stop caring about things and people. Our own base of humanity is to care about each other and to help each other grow. But how much of that do we actually do? How much of that do we truly put into action? Ask yourself that question. I'm sorry if you got bullied when you were younger. 
I'm sorry that maybe you were adopted. I'm sorry that maybe your parents didn't even care. And I'm sorry if most of your experiences have been of tragedy, negativity, and violence. But life does not have to continue to be that way. You can make the choice to change. You can make the choice to be a part of something bigger. Something more positive, something more of high vibe. And some people you just can't help. Some people you cannot force to change. Some people don't even want to change. They may say they do, but they don't. You must begin to let those individuals go. You must begin to live in the essence of living in your light. But what is your light? You know, it's deep down in places you don't talk about at parties. It's deep inside of you on every corner you turn, it's there. All you have to do is stop resisting. Stop resisting getting exactly what you want. I know others will tell you about, you know, get, a, get out of getting your own way. Abundantly giving back. And all those concepts mentally and emotionally and spiritually are fantastic. But what about you? It's always good to give. It's always good to give of yourself and to be of service to others. But when are you of service to yourself? When is it time for you to focus on you? Now is the time. I have to tell you, at the time is now, you have to decide. Join me in this journey. Make sure that you give a thumbs up on this podcast. Share it out to your platforms. Smash that subscribe button and make sure you tap that notification bell as well. If you want certain subjects for me to go over, guys, you got to either tell me in the comments or you can privately message me. I mean, you can even email me if need be, because it's too private. You want to keep things anonymous. I'm okay with that too. So until next time, folks, the choice is yours. What are you going to do with your life? How are you going to make it better? Love and light. Namaste. Be humble. Be blessed. Live in a vibration of love. And take care of each other. This is Reverend Raven Nightclaw signing off.
a high frequency channel for source and spirit meeting tandem. The forces between the mind, body, and spirit meet in friendship while building a unity of energy and creation, fluidity in consciousness.